What's going on you guys? Slim here with a new video today. Uh, before I start, I want to show off some awesome stuff from Gem Accessories. You guys already know, huge fan of them. They're one of my sponsors and what I have for you guys today is that one of their newest deck boxes. You guys remember the dragon one that I showed you guys? Well, this is the Senpai one that just got sent to me. Uh, absolutely beautiful. If you open it up just like the other deck boxes, it has a really cool, very clean design on here. Very, very awesome for those of you that like this type of artwork. And you guys already know you can hold your main deck, your side deck in there. And then, of course, as always, there is this little compartment, which I absolutely love. That is for dice. It's fantastic. It lets you just carry everything at once. If you guys want to get your own copy of this, there'll be a link uh, to their website down below. We're also establishing a discount code for you guys. As soon as I have that, I will include that for you guys as well. And also, as you guys can see, this new mat that we're recording on is, of course, uh, Jem's new mat as well. So definitely... If you guys want to purchase the mat as well, definitely check all that out in the description below. But with that out, with the hell out of the way, uh, as you guys already know, I've got the new version of Shadal Dogmatica for you guys. So if you guys are new here, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, you guys will be notified whenever I upload. You'll also be notified when I stream over on Twitch. The link is in the description. Uh, as always, if you want to purchase any of these cards uh, to build this deck, please use my TCG player link in the description below. A portion of what you spend goes back to the channel. It helps me out, and I really do appreciate it. And last but not least, if you want to further support this channel consider joining my patreon for awesome tiers nothing over ten dollars and just amazing rewards and exclusive content over there and as always the side deck for this deck will be over there so definitely check it out and consider joining today i'm not going to waste any more of you guys' time i know you guys are excited to see this so this is shadal dogmatica now i know you guys are saying there's gonna be no alice there's gonna be none of that and the thing is that i got a lot of inspiration from some of the lists that i've seen around uh, youtube more and more players want to play the invoked engine i agree it's definitely the best build to play however there are people that want to just play a heavier shadal uh count similar to our last list where we emphasize the shadals we're doing the same thing again so hopefully you guys do enjoy let's get into it for our shadal component of the deck of course there's the triple wendy and the triple squamata i've said this every video i'm going to keep saying that these are the best shadals in my opinion they're any shadal in your deck so i'm going to max out on them i decided to bump it to two hedgehogs if you guys remember last time i was only playing one i chose to play a second one this time just because it is a very important card in the deck it does help you continue your plays it's probably the best shadal in my opinion to set off of wendy i know a lot of people like setting beast but uh hedgehog gives you another card to play if you actually get to flip it your opponent attacks into it and it flips you get to search yourself a shadal fusion so that can just literally be game breaking and then all the usual suspects, just the one-ups, uh, the dragon, the beast, and the aerial. Uh, no reason to really explain this. I don't feel you need more than more than one copy of each of these. Like some people would argue for maybe one hedgehog, but I think hedgehog is very valuable in this deck. This gives me a total of six, seven, eight, nine, 11 shadals. Uh, so it just works out really well uh, for the monsters. So that's just very standard. That really hasn't changed that much. And then of course the the six shadal fusion cards you know they're just the best cards in the deck and then the schism again i'm not playing the rest shadal i just couldn't find space for it i thought about playing it uh, over one of the cards i'm playing in this deck however it just didn't come up enough for me uh, i just noticed that a lot of times uh, even though you could reborn something the fact that it came in defense didn't really help as much uh, you know because i usually want to revive Winda, and Winda only has 800 defense so uh, obviously schism is just broken and then all these spells are great so this shadal engine i think has literally changed one card since the previous list but since this is the dogmatica build this is going to be different because we're not playing Alistair and friends so we have room to have a little more uh, flexibility with our card choices so now this is going to be no pun intended the slimmest dogmatica component of any deck you'll ever see probably on my channel uh zoo Zo Zo uh zodiac dogmatica has made a deck we're gonna be building as well so you guys will see something similar but nowhere near as like minimalistic as this but i've only got the two monsters i've got the one ecclesia and the one floor de Lise, along with the three copy copies of nadir servant and the one copy of punishment so i know everyone's gonna ask me why is your dogmatica engine so small so that's the thing the Shadals are the main focus of this deck. The Dogmatica is just a backup engine. Not only that, Nadir Servant is the best card in the deck. This card is literally like insanity. And this is the card I want to see. I don't want to bog my hands down with a bunch of cards like Ecclesia and uh, Floor de Lise, Punishment, stuff like that. When I literally just want to get to Servant. I'm playing a 40 card list, actually a 39 card list. Uh, so a little surprise there, but... I just want to see Servant because Servant is ridiculous. Like, you do your plays, you activate Servant, if it resolves, like, the game is, like, over, and you get so much advantage. And the thing is, this was, engine has been perfect. Now, you guys may be wondering why am I not playing Maximus in this in this particular build. I've seen a lot of lists. Uh, Pack is one of my inspirations for this list as well, even though we have some different card choices. I agree with the fact that Maximus, while it is very strong, it's not necessary in this build. A lot of times, you're not even able to resolve the Maximus because you first have to get to an extra deck monster. And not only that, if you resolve servant like you're good to go you like win you like literally have your combo set up 
there's no reason to play Maximus. Not only that, the extra deck space, it's pretty tight. I'm not going to lie. Between this and the previous deck profile, these extra decks have really been tough to just fit everything in. I'm not playing Dragoon either. Uh, I chose to forego that engine in, that, in the previous profile and this profile for the fact that this deck needs to be consistent. I can't put Vanillas and a Fusion card in there and, you know, hope to make it work, hope to make Verde. I'd rather just have it focus on that. And then that way, when Dragoon inevitably gets banned, and let's face it, it's, it's coming, you guys. Uh, we're already set to go, so we don't have to worry about that. But this Dogmatica engine, perfect. I wouldn't play more Punishment. I wouldn't play anything. We're not playing Desires, anything like that. So you're not going to lose any of these cards, and a Deer Servant is just the best uh, card for the deck. So that is the Dogmatica uh, portion of it. And now to the Hand Trap. So I, I, miss, I messed with the hand traps a little bit like i said in my previous video obviously the best attribute for hand traps in this particular deck is light the reason being you can just make constructs what i chose to do this time is go with two nibiru two ghost ogre i was gonna play three but then i chose to play two valor and then i still am playing the gamma driver package so it still gives me a total of basically nine hand traps if you count the vanilla like this is the only brick in the deck honestly um all of these are good you're gonna see some of the cards i'm playing in this deck particularly that i've never actually played before in any of my decks so you guys should be excited for that um i just felt that these were the best ones it gives me versatility to clear a board bump a card stop a card stop a card you guys already know i'm also playing a spell in here that gives life to the gammas and the ogres so we can do a lot with that hand trap lineup is up to personal preference but i'm telling you if you're playing anything with shadals really focus on the light monsters because you need to make construct we're not playing cards like trick clown or anything gimmicky uh when we need cards to actually just we need every card to function properly in this deck so that was the hand trap lineup and for me it's been working perfectly i like the variety it lets me see versatility in my hands so that's it for that and then on to just the power spells so for this particular build, to keep this deck 40, I decided to go with just two copies of Talents, two copies of Droplet, and then I'll show you guys the last two spells, which are Teleport and Upstart. Now, Talent and Forbidden Droplet, amazing cards. They're, they're just they're just great. Talents, obviously, you know, if, if I can take a Dragoon, if I can draw two cards, if I can rip more cards out of my opponent's hand, I'm going to do it. Droplet, it's for when we're, we're forced to go second. It gives us an ability to play, and I really like that about this. Droplet is a very strong card. I don't think it's necessary at three in this particular build, uh, so I like the 2-2 two -two split. Teleport is probably one of the best cards in this deck. Uh, I've got two targets. I've got literally the Gamma and I've got the, the Ghost Ogre. That's why I chose to play two Ogre along with two Valor. Teleport has been amazing for me. When you see the extra deck, you will see like what we're able to do because of that. And because I want the deck to be extremely consistent, I chose to go with the Hobe and I chose to play 39 cards. And it's not something I normally would do. You could probably just replace that with another power card. But to me, it was like, you know, let me let me see my deck let me see uh as many like combo cards as possible let me try to get to teleport let me try to get to combo and it's fantastic when we're going second we have a way to just otk the opponent so anything that can help with that consistency i will definitely play into the deck but that is it for the main deck it is 39 cards now to the extra deck the should all component has not changed at all i'm not going to waste time explaining this every single one of my list plays this you could argue for a second copy of abacalone i've seen some lists play it i just chose not to play it uh, normally, I'm actually not really sending Abacalone. Like, the thing people forget is that you, you can send Squamata, and then you can send uh, Shizm. So you have op uh, options with that as well. I chose to just keep Abacalone at 1. Also, I can just hard make it if need be. So I felt that it was the perfect ratio for the Shadal monsters, and I wouldn't actually change it. For the Dogmatica food, just one Titanoclad, one uh, Elder Entity, and the one Omega. That's really all you have space for. Uh, the only other card I've considered playing is the Preta Plant, the one that can search Super Poly and can search like Fusion cards. So uh, that might be something we play in the future. Uh, I'm going to have to test it more. But Omega is just honestly, in my opinion, the best card you can send. And then obviously for the engine to pop a card and then to search out your deck. Uh, these cards are just fantastic. So there's that generic links uh same thing as blast time like literally i think these are all the same ones i just decided to add unicorn um this card's great it's a grand mole this gives gamma extra life also generic level two obviously this card is broken and unicorn just helps cross sheep into unicorn is ridiculous it happens so much like why not play it and then finally i never ever ever thought i'd see the day where i'm playing this card but i'm playing hockey fibrax to go with the Celine into the access code talker say what you want i'll say it a million times this card should not exist but this with any of our tuners 
Celine to bring back any of, to bring back like any of our tuners. I mean, it's ridiculous. And then you just go into access code talker. It goes to 53, and you just win the game. I had to play this. I saw it in a couple builds. I saw like how consistent you can just get to it. Teleport gives you the ability to get a tuner on board to make Halky Fibrax. How could I not play it? Like how could I not? This engine is ridiculous, and I'll tell you right now, when you're going second, this is your game plan. Shout out to Triff, because he was the first person to play Selene and Pendulums and everything. This is the game plan when going second. Get to Halky Fibrax, bait out their handjobs, go to Halky Fibrax, get to Selene, get to Access Code Talker, win the game. That's pretty much how it's played, and it's been fantastic. But that is it, you guys. That is the Dogmatica Shadal list. We got more focus on the Shadals than ever. I think that's the important thing here, is that unlike other decks you know that want to focus on like alistair and stuff like that we are focusing on the shadows more and i think that's what you guys wanted uh feel free to give me any comments this is still the first build so a lot of things are still in testing phases i'm telling you no know, teleport is just insane like i can't tell you how many games you can steal off that card it may be a one of i don't think this card's ever coming to more than one i hope not because card's crazy but all these hand traps i was happy with them all the card choices i've been happy with them but like as always these are always the preliminary builds whenever you see a deck for the first time on this channel you guys already know i'm going to improve it i'm gonna make changes and we're going to just advance it together and that helps us you know to just learn more about the deck play it more in the format and then just come to a build that works for every different uh part of the format but that is the list you guys hopefully you guys did enjoy again shout out to gem play mats for amazing mat the amazing deck box and everything and of course i've got to have my my field center in every video or else you guys already know but that's the profile you guys if you enjoyed it smash that like button let me know your uh, thoughts on the deck any way we can improve it i'm always open to your guys' criticisms you guys tend to know more than i do when it comes to certain decks so anything we can do to improve this deck i'm all ears but that's it for today's video i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching